Hey, hey, what's up guys, Cotton here. And now we're going to take a look at the M1, M2 using the, I believe it's called, what is it, the M84 T-Post? Let me check. Yep, the M84 T-Post. Now let me show you my mods real quick. I am using the ammo for some added, uh, you know, damage and range. Here's our T-Post right here, good condition. It's only a 2.2 sighting, but I, I like it on this gun because I'm not a big fan of of the iron sight of the M1 M2 it's just so small and when the recoil starts to kick you can't really see what's happening I do use a trigger for some added rate of fire but you'll notice I'm not using an internal I'm trying to cut back on the mod costs you know the repair costs because it actually is uh, there's a pretty high upkeep on these scopes so you need to be careful plus I don't want to lose too much stability for rate of fire when I'm especially when I'm trying to scope anyway so we're going to take off the internal. I'm also going to take off the barrel. It, it's a very, very minor range gain. And again, I'm just trying to cut back on the cost right now. And just like the last video, I'll be using heavy set and fast reload. So let's go ahead and get into the battle. Alright guys, so here it is here with the scope on it. And as you can see, it looks it looks kind of cool just like the STG. You know, it adds a really menacing feel to the, the weapon when you have the scope on it. But, again, I'm going to go ahead and try to spray at something here and feel the recoil out. I'm not going to bother to pull my mouse or anything. I'm just going to see where the spread rate goes. Wow, that's a lot of climb. Not really as much climb as the STG, but it climbs faster. So, again, now I'm going to pull down and see how well I can control the recoil with my mouse. Yeah, that does pretty well. This guy thinks I'm shooting at somebody. <laughs> Jimmy, get out of here. So let's see, semi-automatic. Let's see if we can hit Jimmy. Alright, so so far it feels pretty accurate. It, it, it honestly feels a hell of a lot better than the STG does with the scope. This feels a lot smoother, a lot more controllable. So let's see what happens here. Alright, so you can still hip fire with it too if you don't feel like aiming in at close range. Which is always a good thing. Being able to still hip fire something, it really helps. Got yeah, a feeling this guy's on this staircase. Yep. So the hip fire, I mean, it's still lethally accurate at, you know, point blank range. The RPM, I'm pushing 900 with just one mod, so yeah, they're gonna drop. This looks like a good place to perch up. Alright, so burst firing feels okay. Let me get rid of this guy over here. I'm not I'm not sure what he's doing. Wow, he was still there. Let's see, I want someone to come out here. I want to test this semi-auto. The barn is about 100 meters away. Oh, now it's on semi. Wow, these bullets, they don't exactly... Wow. He took four or five hits there. He didn't want to go down. So yeah, the damage is really lacking on the M2, of course. Its power lies in the RPM, being able to lay down multiple bullets very quickly on your target. That's okay, let's give it another go here. Alright. Ow, I got shot. Oh, he just turned the corner. <laughs> I 
Nice try, buddy. How did you just die? Because I need to heal up, and if you're getting shot, we have a problem. Got a guy up in that window. That's a good time to test the semi-automatic at range. You know what? Let's try that little 600 meter trick that we tried with the STG here. Let's see, top of the meter. Wow, these bullets, they have a long spread too, just like the STG. They're going nowhere near where I'm firing. Wow. Let's go back to 100 here. Actually, we'll go 150. I'm going to scope right in on that window. It's still, it's just not reliable for headshots. It's not reliable as a proper scoping weapon. It's just it does not have the accuracy of a bolt so again I don't think that long range is very viable for this weapon just like the STG I think that this is a, a you know short to medium range scenario only I'm gonna go sing I'm gonna go single fire on this guy let's see okay we got him I really had to work for that though Ow. I did not see where he was. So I'm not doing too bad right now. I'm 9 and 4, but I don't I don't really feel confident enough with this scope right now. It could just be me. The scope might work, you know, a lot better for other people, but this gun just does not feel that viable with it. It's definitely I like it short to medium range. It's an improvement over the iron sight, most definitely. But don't buy this scope coming with the expectation that you're just going to be automatically, you know, sniping headshots and this and that. Because it still has a very good spread rate. Let's see here. I'm going to go single fire. I'm going to go for this guy's head. I'm aiming clear at his head. What about this guy's head? There's one. Yep. Ah oh, man, a lot of those look pretty spot on and those bullets were they're grazing left and right pretty far. And I don't have that much stability loss and I have no precision loss. And there might be a minor bit from the ammo, but still that's that wasn't even a hundred meters. That was a little disappointing. I don't know, I think this gun it's gonna be, you know, better treated like an SMG. Similar to the STG. They're just they're not really made for this range. They have spread on them. <laughs> what was your plan, buddy? Uh oh, where? Even that full auto spray didn't kill him? Wow. It does have some recoil, though. She likes to bump up and left a bit. I am doing significantly worse with this weapon than I was the STG though. So I'm not really going to say which weapon feels better with a scope right now because honestly neither one of them feel very good with it. Let's check out that window again. Yeah he's there. I would really like to get this headshot. Okay I got a hit on him. All right, my heavy set's the only reason I'm still alive right now. He does have a one-hit bolt. And I am. I find myself at a disadvantage because of the inaccuracies of this gun. Yeah, I don't see uh, scoping very viable with this at all. There's just too much spread rate. You're going to lose out against bolt actions. I'm going to try to get into some more closer combat scenarios now. I want to feel it more short range, medium range on fully auto. Because long range bolting is just not working at all. Is 
see right here I think is where the power lies in its RPMs when you can get close to people and just hose them with lead I got him finally got him he looked already wounded though because I landed two chest shots on him I'm not sure who's firing at me and if he can actually see me or not. Wow, look at this guy. <laughs> he didn't mean to do that. I was laying down, so I'll let him go. So again, you notice, as soon as we get up close range with this thing, we have no problem shredding through people. That was, what, four or five kills right there in the field. I just, I don't like trying to actually snipe with it, you know? I can't. I guess, I mean, because it is only a 2.2 times magnification anyway, so it is better suited for shorter to medium range. So again, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the scope, and it might work better for some other people. Well, I'm wiping out here. But I honestly, I don't see myself sniping with this gun. It's, it looks great for mid-range, short range, like right here, look at this guy. Yeah, that was great. I like the scope. You just lead your target a little bit three little burst fires they're done where it sounds local it sounds really close oh he got him good oh look at that max rank driver where you at now my car's got miles son Look at these two, look at these two. <laughs> so again, you have really good shredding power at close range. The scope, it feels like it is an improvement over the iron sight, you know? So guys, my overall thoughts here. Well, you kind of already heard them. I, I, I like the scope here. I like it short range. I like it medium range, just like I did for the STG. But just like the STG... I don't see us actually long range sniping with this thing, even if you fully mod for, you know, the most amount of precision you can get and you're using semi-auto, I just don't see it. Because these weapons have such fully auto capabilities, they have a spread rate on them. So if you're going to buy these scopes hoping to, you know, get some long range sniping down, I would really reconsider here. I hope I'm going to save you some money there. But I'm not saying don't buy it. Especially for this M1, M2, it's an amazing improvement over the iron sight for, you know, short to medium range. It really feels good. <laughs> Again, you land three little bursts on them. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope I enlightened you a little bit here on how this weapon performs with the scope. I'm just, I'm not really feeling it myself. I think I'll stick to my real scope whenever I want to actually snipe. But hey, take it easy guys. Really appreciate you watching. Let's see if we can kill this guy right here for you. Oh, one of them stepped right out in front of me. That <laughs> took four shots to the butt. But yeah, appreciate you guys watching. Hope you enjoyed here. Take it easy guys.